and uh, take a look. Yeah, so this is something completely new. I'm going to snip this in and I'll, uh, oop, if you could just get that back to, uh, there we go. Let me uh, grab a snip here. Yeah. I'll share my screen. We'll kind of do the usual the usual thing that we normally do here. So uh, let me share my screen. All right, so if you're seeing my screen, you're seeing the uh, the question, uh, evaluate the six trigonometric functions of the angle. The uh, the angles up here, you've got to first first find the hypotenuse. So that's the that's the C, and you may have remembered, may have seen this before. It's from geometry, um, but it's covered in a lot of other courses. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. So in your case. We'll call A the smaller side, B the next smaller side. These are both legs and C the hypotenuse. So that's nine squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. Okay, so if you got a calculator, you, you can do the calculation. So 181 plus 144 equals C squared. C equals the square root of 225. So C equals 15. Have you seen the Pythagorean theorem before? Yeah. Okay. We're going to probably do it in every problem, so you get a ton of practice with it. Okay, so sine, cosine, and tangent, they are, uh, based on this angle, they are a different thing. So sine is the, it's, it's a ratio between two of the three sides that you've got here. There's the opposite side and the adjacent side. Okay, so relative to this angle, the opposite side is 12. And the, I'm sorry, I'm giving you the wrong information here. Opposite and the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is, is here is 15. So the, the, the ratio here is 12 over 15. It's the opposite side over the, the hypotenuse. So the, some instructors throw this out, S-O-H, C-A-H, and T-O-A. And for sine, O refers to opposite, H is the hypotenuse. And we'll move through the rest of them here. Now you do have to reduce this. So there's, there's quite a few steps here to actually getting the right answer. They're both divisible by three. So the answer is four fifths. Okay, and that's all the work for the box, box one there. We'll do box two for cosine, then box three for sine, and then these other ones will, will be done uh, relative to the other ones, uh, their, their relationships there. So for cosine, cosine of theta, you need the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent this time is nine, and the hypotenuse is 15. And this also reduces, they're both divisible by three, so it's three over five. So this next box is three over five. Finally, tangent of theta, TOA, T-O-A, is opposite over okay. adjacent. So again, relative to this angle right here, the opposite side is 12, the adjacent side is nine. And you divide both of these by three, so that's four thirds. Okay. Do you have those answers entered in? Yes. Fantastic. So to do cosecant, secant, and cotangent, they are reciprocals of the boxes here that you've got. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So you just flip it. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So you flip it. Cotangent is reciprocal of tangent. And so you flip it. So you really only have to do part of it to get the other other part there. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, if you want to share your screen again, we can look at the next problem. It's probably very much the same. They give you an angle and you have to find the other side or sides, and then evaluate the six trigonometric functions. 
Yep. Yep. All right. So let me grab this question. I'll share my screen. <laughs> All right. So let me share screen. Okay, so the, the six trigonometric functions, they're the ones listed here. The angle here is again at the top. The angle could be down here on the right, like it, in, in a different problem, maybe it will be. Mm -hmm. It's generally common to make A the smaller side, B the next smaller side for the two legs and the C. And again, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that's six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. 36 plus 64 equals c squared, 100 equals c squared, so c equals 10. You always, you always use the positive when you uh, solve for this. So that's 10. So the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And opposite, is, it means opposite to that angle. So in this case, it's six and the hypotenuse is 10. Just, you're just putting the values in and then you simplify this. So this simplifies to three fifths. Cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now the adjacent is never the hypotenuse. So the adjacent, like some students think, oh, well, the, the 10 is the adjacent. That kind of is true, but it's actually the hypotenuse. The adjacent has to refer to one of the legs. So in this case, it's eight. And that reduces to four fifths. Tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite is six, the adjacent is eight, and you reduce that to three fourths. On the right here, they're just the reciprocals. Sine and cosecant go together, cosine, cosine and secant go together, and tangent and cotangent, you just flip them. All right, so this is a new problem, and this one is, uh, is slightly different. We're gonna we're gonna learn something about your software, uh, your computer software that, that this is built on. So let me share my screen, and uh, we'll work through this one together. Okay. There we go. So the same setup here. This time, though. Theta is in a different place, no big deal. Um, they're giving you the hypotenuse though. So they're giving you C and we actually don't know whether this is A or B. Um, so you can actually just arbitrarily choose which one you want it to be. So if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we don't know A, but we know that B, we're calling B five and C is seven. So if A squared plus 25 equals 49, subtract 25 from both sides and you get a squared equals uh, 24. And this one is not friendly, meaning it doesn't, it's not a perfect square. It doesn't reduce to a, to a nice number. When you take the square root of both sides, you have to then break it apart. Um, and if you haven't done this in a while, uh, it's a prime factorization. So you, because you don't know what the square root of 24 is, you just know that it's not, not a nice number. You start with two, and you write the number over here that goes with two to get 24. So that's two and 12, okay? Six and two. Yeah, and you keep trying two until you, until you it doesn't work again. And you look for pairs. So there's a pair. For each mm -hmm. pair, you bring it out, okay? So when you bring it out, what that means is, is A equals two, square root of what's left over, 
two times three, but you don't leave it like that. You write it as two square root six. Okay, so that is this missing side. So this missing side is two square root six. Okay, so now we're ready to do mm -hmm. sine theta. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So relative to this angle right here on the left, the opposite is five, and the hypotenuse is always the one along that's opposite, that's across from the ninety or the longest side. So seven. So that one's fine. That's that's no big deal. The cosine though, this is where we potentially run into problems here. So cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is two square root six. It's the one next to. Hypotenuse is seven. So that that has to go into this box here. Tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is five and the adjacent is two square root six. And this is our first potential problematic place. So like math preferences, you don't put a square root in the bottom. And and you don't you don't have to care, you don't have to like really understand it. You just have to know like you can't put a square root in the bottom. But maybe your software will take that. Like maybe you can just put this in there. And that's what that's what I guess I need to know to know whether to proceed by giving you more information about how to do this problem. So can you check part of the answer or will, is it an all or nothing? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, yeah, you're correct. So it took this as is? Yeah. Fantastic. So you know now to flip the other ones. Yeah. Whatever's in the top goes to the bottom, bottom to the top, and we'll move on. What we also should have looked at is whether it would have taken just the square root of 24, like if we needed to do all this other stuff. Maybe we'll look at that on the mm -hmm. next one and see. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right, fantastic. So let me grab this question. Um, I'm gonna not grab all the boxes this time because I'm, I'm not able to feed those in, but let's, okay. So let me go share my screen. All right, so the, again, um, you're, they're giving you C. I'll call this A and I'll call this B. And it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Three squared plus B squared equals nine squared. So nine plus B squared equals 81. B squared equals 72. So B equals the square root of 72. Now we could reduce this, okay? But let's see if it'll take it without reducing. That'll also impact like how we do the quiz as well. Um, it, it, because it, we don't know what it's going to look like yet, but we'll just go with this. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So from this angle right here, the opposite is three, the hypotenuse mm -hmm. is nine. And that reduces to one third. The cosine theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent is the square root of 72 divided by nine. So what I would like you to do, if you're willing to try this, is let me know if it accepts this. If it doesn't, then we know we need to reduce this root. Okay. Yeah, I took it. Wow. That's great. I mean, that means you don't have to do as much work too. And, and that's part of, you know, that's part of what I understand we're trying to accomplish here, which is we want to get through it. You know, we don't mm -hmm. want to overwhelm you with stuff that, that is irrelevant. 
Uh, so then the last one there is tangent theta is opposite over adjacent, and it the opposite is the one across. That's the three. The adjacent is the square root of 72. And then your cosecant, secant, and cotangent are the flips of these. So one over one over one third would just be three, right? Yeah, you could write three over one or just three. We'll take it, should take it. Okay. All right, so new problem. I'm going to grab it here, snip it in. And then I will share my screen. Very, very repetitive. You know, you can you can see it's it's the same sort of sequence. Um, a and B have to be your legs, and they are the ones that are coming out from the 90 degree. C is always the hypotenuse, so that's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If you chose A is 10, that's fine. Um, you're going to get the same thing, uh, regardless of how you do it. So this is 10 squared equals 18 squared, so we have A squared plus 100 equals 18 squared. And I think that is 324. It is just double checking. A squared is 224 because you subtract 100 from both sides. So again, this is the square root of 224. And you could reduce this, but we're choosing not to. So the sine of theta opposite over adjacent. So relative to this angle, the opposite, I don't know why I keep doing it, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Apologize, um, second time I've made that mistake. So opposite is the A and the hypotenuse is, well, whatever the hypotenuse is. So it's the square root of 224 over 18. Cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent is never the hypotenuse, it's, it's the other leg. So this time it's 10 over 18. And from what you told me, we don't even need to reduce this. Like we did that in the first problem, but you mm -hmm. maybe just try it and see if that works. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. The opposite is 10 and the adjacent, I'm sorry, the opposite is the square root of 224 over the adjacent, which is 10. And then you would flip each of those for cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Okay. All right, let me grab this one. 
and snip it in. Do you remember doing this at all in geometry? Mm, I'm gonna say no, because when I was doing geometry, that's when COVID hit. So halfway through, we stopped doing everything. Okay. So you're, you're I feel not like alone. It would have been like second semester though. It it and would have been. It definitely would have been something you would have seen uh, in the spring. Yeah. And, yeah, because uh, in the spring, that's when school shut down, and my teachers were stupid and said that we didn't have to do any work, so everybody yeah. stopped. <laughs> doesn't uh, doesn't help much now when. Uh, it's definitely not. Yeah. So. Um, all right, so if you're seeing my screen, hopefully you are, you see the see the problem here. So it's, it's still, again, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A, we don't know. B is 14 squared, and c is 26 squared. So this is 14 squared is, I think it's 176. Let me just double check. 196. 26 squared. I'm not even going to guess this time because I keep making mistakes. It's 676. So you subtract 196 from both sides and a squared equals 480. Let me just double check that. Yeah, 480. So a, a is going to be the square root of 480. And the order, the order is important. I'm, I'm I'm doing the order that they're giving you. Um, sine is opposite over over hypotenuse, so it's the square root of 480 over 26. Cosine theta is 14 over 26, and then tangent of theta is square root of 480 over 14. Ooh. Okay, so this one a little bit different. Um, the word problem. So kind of, yeah. It it, it probably <laughs> looks more. It's it's just a repackaging uh, of the previous ones, but. Um, how many total questions are in this assignment? Uh, there's 12. 12, okay. All right. We're on a good good trajectory here. I don't know if we'll finish all these, but we'll just keep moving along. Mm -hmm. So it says, let theta be an acute angle of a right triangle. So it, the, the reality is here is you want to draw the same triangle every time if you can uh, to keep things kind of simple. And I, I've chosen kind of this, this nice one here. Cotangent is a tough one. Like if I told you it was sine, you would say it's opposite over the hypotenuse. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangents. The tangent is 11 over 16. You, you remember that from the previous problems that we did. Yeah. Well, tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite is 11 and the adjacent is 16. You see how I came up with that? 
Yes. Because tangent is those two numbers, I just got to figure out which position they go in. Now, there are reference sheets where it says cotangent is adjacent over opposite. Um, I can I can point you to those if, if needed, but we don't need all that. So now you do need C. So C is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Uh, we'll just go 11 squared plus 16 squared equals C squared. So 11 squared is 121 and c squared is 256 so when you add those together you get 377 so c is the square root of 377 so to find to find the sine of theta sine of theta is 11 over the square root of 377 it's the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We already have tangent to find cosecant and secant. You just flip the ones that we already found here, the reciprocal. So I know you got to enter those, but keep in mind, it's no different than the previous problem. You just find the third side and apply the relationship between the sides and the angles. No. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to snip the, the image, the question here. Uh, and then we're going to draw a triangle. We're going to label the sides based on the given information and then find the other ones. So and I'm just going to draw the same triangle again. That's theta. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So you need to find the, the third side here. So it's six squared plus seven squared equals C squared. Oops, you're sharing your screen again. Grab, maybe I never shared mine. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So just, I labeled the triangle, put in the side, seven is opposite, six is adjacent, and then writing the Pythagorean theorem. So this is 85 equals C squared. So C equals the square root of 85. Now, but as you know, the cotangent is just the flip. That's the, the, the fast one to do. Sine theta is the opposite side to the angle theta. Opposite is the one across seven over square root of 85. Cosecant theta is the reciprocal of that. And then cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then secant theta is the reciprocal of that. Fantastic. Almost done. With my seven. guess is my guess is the next one will be just like this, except different numbers. Most likely. I'm not seeing your screen. There it is. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna snip this. All right, if you're seeing my screen now, you're seeing uh, the problem again. I'm going to draw the same right triangle. I'm going to label theta in the exact same place. I'm going to flip this so that I get sine, because I want sine. Sine is the best thing. Sine is opposite 
over hypotenuse. So we just got to find this other other side there. Okay, and if you do this Pythagorean theorem long enough, you realize it's the square root of this squared, 225 minus 64. And we'll get a number for that. I guess it's the square root of 161 for that. So once you have the third, once you have all three sides, you just go and do the, the stuff that you're, you're used to doing. So the cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, the square root of 161 over 15. Okay. The tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. It's the eight over the square root of 161. And then the secant theta is just the reciprocal of the value you already found. And then the cotangent theta is also the reciprocal. Okay, so another question here that's you know very very similar. Um, they're they're doing a nice job here trying to give you all the possibilities, uh, which you know really would be helpful if 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 um, you know they're doing a good job here. I guess what I'm trying to say. So okay. um, I've grabbed the snip here, and it's the same same kind of workout here. You draw you draw your your right triangle here, label your theta. Now, because they give you secant, you flip it to get cosine. And cosine is the adjacent mm -hmm. over the hypotenuse. And then this other side is 14 squared, 196 minus 81, nine squared. So that's the square root of uh, 115, looks like. So you just, you go back to those relationships you've had. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosecant theta is going to be the flip of that 14 over the square root of 115. Again, we're not we're not doing anything to like reduce these, which is another part of these problems. Tangent of theta is um, is opposite over adjacent. It's the square root of 115 over nine. So the cotangent of theta is the flip of that nine over the square root of 115. Okay, dokie. Oh. Right. Just two more. snip the question. I'm glad you're already just going in there and saying, I know how to flip that and get it done. Uh, so let me share my screen. Is this the chapter your instructor said would be a lot more difficult than the stuff you've been doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, starting out, it doesn't look too bad, but but I'll bet it goes a little bit more in depth. Definitely not going to like this at all. <laughs> yeah. So the sign here is opposite over hypotenuse. 
And, and then this one right here is 121 minus 49, 11 squared minus seven squared. So what is that? 72 squared of 72, excuse me. Yeah. Cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Secant of theta is the reciprocal of that. You just flip it, okay? And then tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent, seven over the square root of 72. And then the um, cotangent of theta is just the flip of that. It's the square root of 72 over seven. share my screen. So no surprise here. We're going to find that third side of the triangle. And then we're going to uh, update uh, the, uh, the other values based on that. So here's theta. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. This other side is, the, is 12 squ squared minus 5 squared 25, or the square root of 119. And uh, none of these have been friendly. They've all been, you know, nuns that don't work out nicely. Sine theta is opposite, square root of 119 over hypotenuse 12. Cosecant theta is the flip of that. Tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. Cotangent theta is the flip of that. That's it. Thank you so Fantastic. Much. All right. I will uh, see you next time. Thanks so much for scheduling. Have a great Thank day. Thank you so much. You too. You're welcome. Bye now.